Hey, what's up guys, Bo HD here. And if you're looking for an action camera that does a little bit of everything, 360 videos, wide angle camera videos, time-lapse, slow motion videos, the list goes on, even still photos, I will add, I think you're gonna wanna consider the Insta360 ONE RS. I can honestly say that this is actually one of the coolest pieces of tech that I've ever tested, and I never thought I would say that for an action camera. Why that is, is because of its modularity. All the components you see here can be removed separately and swapped out just like so. If you happen to run out of battery juice, you can just swap out another battery cartridge and get back to your recording. Uh, if you're recording an action video and you wanna see your face, you can literally take the screen module, flip it around and fit it all together so you can take selfie videos or pictures. I think that's just an insanely underrated feature in my opinion. And same goes with recording 360 video. You can swap out the 4K boost lens with a 360 lens to capture all of your surrounding in 360 degrees of 5.7K resolution. Now I also have the Insta360 ONE X2, which I made a separate video on. Some of you guys might remember that. And that's a great camera, but if you have the ONE RS and the 360 lens, you don't really need the ONE X2. This has everything you need all in one package. So the modularity is not only extremely cool, but I would say it's also extremely useful. It makes me sort of think of Project Aura from back in like 2016 when Google tried to make a modular smartphone, but ultimately failed because it was just too logistically challenging. This is sort of like Project Aura uh, of action cams, and it, honestly, it makes me want a modular smartphone even more now because how cool would that be? Actually, let's modularize everything. I don't think that's a word, but... It is now. But I've had this camera in my possession for, I would say, at least a couple of months now. Insta360 set this out to review, and they've been very patient with me while I took it on my adventures, so I appreciate that. I recently went up to Banff up in Alberta, Canada, and I captured all sorts of clips of gorgeous mountains, the highest suspension bridge in Canada. I walked on a glacier, and I got to check off Moraine Lake from my bucket list. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Actually, if you guys are over on Instagram, I'd love for you to give me a follow and check out some of my reels from my trip over at Bo HD. I don't know. I love making them. I hope you guys enjoy them. But I'm just really glad I had this camera with me to help capture the, the grandiose landscapes that everyone, I think, should still try and see in person. Looking back at the videos, though, I'm impressed with the quality. There's minimal warping on the edges, even though it's such a, a wide-angle sort of fisheye lens. The image stabilization is very good, too. As you can see, uh, from walking around downtown Calgary and on the suspension bridge, which, by the way, I've gotten pretty confident with heights, but this was legitimately scary. I was probably shaking quite a bit, but you wouldn't really notice that based off this footage here. Now, I took some time lapses with this camera, and this is sort of where I ran into a couple of slight inconveniences, I would call them. There's no tripod mount on the camera itself, so you'll actually have to use the mounting bracket case that's included in the Git Set Kit or the Bike Kit on their website. It makes sense. I mean, given the modularity and the size of each module, there's really not a lot of space for a tripod mount. But I was frequently having to take it out of the case every time I was doing some like freehand panning shots. Not too big of an issue, just something worth mentioning. I will add that the case also certifies the camera to being waterproof up to five meters or 16 feet. Uh, you actually don't need the case for it to be waterproof, but it does help keep all the modules fastened together. The last slightly annoying thing I encountered was when I was biking in the gorge using the bike kit, which worked great. I was able to mount it on my bike and capture some fun shots riding along the Columbia River on a beautiful sunny day. It was great, um, except when I used the dedicated time-lapse mode that was built into the camera. So what this does is it captures video and it speeds up the video automatically to create a condensed time-lapse video without any editing required. That's really cool. The only downside is there's no way to slow it down or really edit the footage at all. So you're kind of stuck with what you get and you're stuck with that one speed. So that long video that you captured can't really be edited in any way unless you really want a choppy video. So I'd like to see Insta360 add 
the ability to customize the speed and let you fine tune the, the time lapse. I think it should be a relatively easy feature to add since they've done such a great job with their app and how you're able to edit the 360 videos. So I don't think it's gonna to be too challenging for them to sort of update the editing abilities of the time-lapse videos you capture. And I alluded to this earlier, but I captured 360 video with the 360 module and I got some great results. It's really neat to be able to have one camera that you can use to capture some dynamically different types of video. I mean, the fact that the selfie stick is invisible, that too is insanely cool and it creates a really good look. I mean, you already look dumb holding a selfie stick in real life. Nobody wants to see that stick in your video. So it's cool to see Insta360 work some movie magic and Photoshop it out. That never gets old. So if you're in the market for an action camera that can do a little bit of everything, I can highly recommend the Insta360 ONE RS. If you use my link in the description, you can actually look at all the different kits that they offer on their website. There's like a 4K edition kit, which includes a selfie stick, an SD card, and a mounting bracket which includes that mount for the tripod. Uh, there's also the twin edition, which includes the 360 camera and a bunch more other things. You can also pick up the Insta360 ONE RS bundle over at apple.com, which includes a carrying case, a 32 gigabyte SD card, an extra battery, a selfie stick, and two lenses for about $600, which is a pretty solid deal. So I'll place a link to that bundle as well down below in the description. The prices, you know, it ranges from around three to $600, depending on which configuration you go with. So it's not exactly cheap, but uh, I think this camera should last you a very long time. And I think it'll really help up your content creation game. With that said, guys, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. I'm Bo HD from Slash.TV. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.